The specter of New York City's decline looms larger than ever as it grapples with a confluence of crises that threaten to unravel the fabric of this once indomitable metropolis. At the heart of this descent into urban dystopia are the repercussions stemming from former President Donald Trump's 355 million lawsuit, an escalating migrant situation that strains resources and infrastructure, and a pervasive sense of crime and lawlessness that casts a long shadow over daily life. These factors have conspired to create a perfect storm, prompting businesses, residents, and investors to flee in search of safer, more stable environments. The mass exodus from New York City is not merely a temporary blip, but a potentially irreversible trend that signals a loss of confidence in the city's ability to manage its affairs. The departures of businesses erodes the economic foundation of the city, leading to job losses and a decrease in tax revenue. For residents, the escalating crime rates and sense of insecurity transform the city from a vibrant hub of culture and opportunity into a cautionary tale of urban decay. Investors witnessing the instability and deteriorating prospects are increasingly reluctant to commit their capital, further undermining the city's financial health. Faced with this daunting challenge, New York City may have no choice but to resort to desperate measures to stem the tide of departures. Financial incentives and tax breaks, once considered tools to attract external investment, might now be repurposed as lifelines to retain the very constituents fleeing the city's turmoil. Yet the cost of such measures could be astronomical, running into the billions, and there's no guarantee of their effectiveness. This strategy not only underscores the severity of the city's plight, but also risks further straining an already beleaguered budget, potentially spiraling into a fiscal crisis that could necessitate even more drastic interventions. Moreover, the reliance on financial incentives and tax breaks to woo back those who have left is an implicit admission of failure. It concedes that the city's allure, once rooted in its dynamic culture, economic opportunities, and iconic status, has diminished to the point where monetary persuasion is necessary. This approach is a band-aid solution that fails to address the underlying causes of the city's malaise. Namely, the need for robust and effective governance, comprehensive crime prevention strategies, and a sustainable approach to managing migration and social challenges. In essence, New York City's potential pivot to financial enticements as a means to counteract its current exodus is a bleak testament to the depth of its troubles. It reflects a city at a crossroads, struggling to reconcile its illustrious past with a present marred by dysfunction and uncertainty. Without a concerted effort to address the root causes of its decline, New York City risks becoming a cautionary example of how even the most storied urban centers can falter under the weight of mismanagement, social unrest, and economic pressures. The path to recovery is fraught with challenges, and the journey back to prosperity and stability promises to be a long and uncertain one. The prospect of employing financial incentives and tax breaks to lure back those who have departed highlights a grim reality for New York City. It's a tacit acknowledgement that the vibrancy and resilience that once defined the city are in jeopardy. This strategy, while potentially effective in the short term, fails to tackle the deep-seated issues plaguing the city, such as systemic inequality, inadequate housing, and an overwhelmed public infrastructure. These problems, exacerbated by the current crises, demand comprehensive solutions that go beyond financial palliatives. The city's reliance on such incentives underscores a deeper crisis of governance and leadership. It reflects a failure to anticipate and mitigate the cascading effects of Trump's lawsuit, the migrant influx, and rising crime rates. This lack of foresight and reactive policymaking contribute to a perception of incompetence that further erodes public trust and confidence in city leadership. In this context, financial incentives can be seen as an attempt to buy time, but they do not rectify the fundamental governance issues at play. Furthermore, the financial ramifications of offering incentives and tax breaks are profound. With an already strained budget, the city risks exacerbating its fiscal woes, potentially leading to cuts in essential services and public programs. This could create a vicious cycle where the quality of life continues to decline making the city even less attractive to potential returnees and new residents alike. The strategy also raises questions of fairness and equity, as the resources used for these incentives could arguably be better invested in improving public safety, housing, education, and health care for all New Yorkers. Moreover, the narrative of offering financial incentives to attract back residents and businesses could further stigmatize New York City, painting it as a location that individuals and corporations are fleeing from. This perception, once set, is hard to reverse and could deter not just those thinking of returning, but also new talent and investment that are crucial for the city's revival. It signals desperation rather than strength, a bargaining chip of a city that has lost its leverage and appeal. 
In the larger scheme, New York City's consideration of such measures is a microcosm of urban challenges worldwide. Cities must navigate the fine line between addressing immediate crises and laying the groundwork for sustainable, inclusive growth. The story of New York City serves as a cautionary tale that urban resilience is not just about weathering storms, but building cities that can adapt and thrive amid changing economic, social, and environmental landscapes. In conclusion, while financial incentives and tax breaks might offer a temporary reprieve, they do not constitute a panacea for New York City's woes. The city's leadership must embark on a rigorous assessment of the structural issues at its core, engaging with communities to forge a path forward that restores safety, stability, and confidence. Only through such a holistic and inclusive approach can New York City hope to reclaim its status as a beacon of opportunity, innovation, and resilience.